I just got lunch for myself. I, I went and got some Taco Bell because I was in town and I needed to pick up some medication from CBS. And there was a Taco Bell nearby and I was like, okay, well, I can, I can get some Taco Bell. I can get a Power Bowl. If it's in my keto metrics, it'll be okay. Uh, so I went through the mobile app and did my ordering and all that went fine and got through the uh, little drive through speaker there and, um, I said, hey, I've got a, I've got a pickup order for Cassandra. And I tried really hard to do my feminine voice, like here. Maybe it's not good enough because the lady at the drive thru said, okay, does everything appear correct on the screen, sir? Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. And it just really gutted me. Um, because to me, that says that my voice does not pass yet. And if it doesn't pass, then that means um, I'm going to keep on getting misgendered, and it's going to keep feeling a hot knife into my skin. So, any of y'all out there, if you have any tips for me about how to sound more feminine, I typically like to think in my head the word bright. So maybe, maybe I'm not as bright as I need to be. Maybe I could be up here, but I don't know. What the f*** are you talking about, man? Taco Bell? Misgendering someone? Where have we heard that before? Oh yeah, yesterday's video! Now, real quick, for whatever reason, YouTube is suppressing the sh** out of yesterday's video, so I will link that at the end of this video. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. And for those of you that saw yesterday's video, you will recall the young lady with the bright red mullet claimed that she was also misgendered at the Taco Bell drive-thru. So it would appear that Taco Bell's ESG score is about to tank. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I have a pretty quick and fairly crazy weekend clown world update for you guys today. And as usual, we have very little time to waste. So let's get into it. Now, now if you place your attention on the screen for a moment. So this is Adrian. Now, Adrian is a biological man who identifies as a trans woman, frequents lesbian dating apps, and also the ladies restroom. Huh? funny because he's fat now i'm going to reference yesterday's video once again for those of you that saw it, you may recall al Weezy claimed to be sexy as <laughs> well on a similar note this person claims to be cute as hell huh roll it so apparently a co-worker asked why is he trying to be a girl which first of all says that I pass as a guy baseline, which is perfect. And secondly, says that I'm cute as hell. <laughs> One ugly motherfucker. All right, so just in the past couple of days, we've had two Taco Bell drive through misgendering mishaps. One from McDonald's, and it looks like Whataburger wants to get in on the action. Roll it. <laughs> So, do I sound feminine? I really don't think I sound feminine at the moment, and I made sure to not sound feminine ordering food at Whataburger, and I still got misgendered for some reason. It's so confusing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. Now, that is kind of sad. That woman seems legitimately confused as to why other people don't see her as a he, him, which will never happen. But someone really duped her into believing it would. Anyway, next up. So this one is slightly confusing because this is a biological man who identifies as a trans woman, but here he talks about PMS symptoms in his cycle. Huh? Roll it. So one of my partners took me to Walgreens to get some ibuprofen for PMS symptoms. And uh, I said I don't want anything sweet because my migraines are pretty bad and eating sweet things tends to make them a little bit worse. But um, they went and got us both Kit Kats anyways because when I'm PMSing, I cry when I eat chocolate. So, uh, yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty damn good to make me cry. <laughs> 
And realistically, that is only when I'm like on my cycle. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Someone needs to let that fella know he doesn't have the right parts and equipment to have a cycle. Anyway, real quick, before we go any further, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're enjoying the videos, you like the content, and you want to help support the channel, grabbing one of these t-shirts is a great way to do it. And here it is, the Revenge Tour 2024 Mugshot t-shirt. Now, this is the most famous mugshot in the history of all mugshots. So if you'd like to grab yourself a little piece of history, there will be a link to the t-shirt in the description box below. And I also have some other very cool designs you can check out as well. Yes! That's awesome! Alright, next up. So I'm going to throw in a quick disclaimer right here. Kind of like a warning, proceed with caution. So this is probably one of the most disgusting 30 seconds of an interview you're ever going to hear in your life. So, you've been warned. Turn back now or forever hold your peace. Roll it! Guys will pay me to f*** on their chest. How many clients do you have? I have like three, like... Regulars. How much per turd? I'd say like a 200. Sometimes they make me stay like over the weekend. I <laughs> on them every time I have to go. When I have the runs, like they like to get <laughs> on when I have the runs. Like right. diarrhea. Well, I don't have a problem <laughs> like on people because I like went to jail. So like you have to <laughs> in front of people when you're in a cell. So I went to jail for pepper spraying someone. Why'd you pepper spray him? Um, because she was trying to fight me and I don't fight because that's ratchet and I'm like a grown woman. You're the most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Well, I guess that's what they're talking about when they say gig economy, right? It's either that or DoorDash. Oof. Anyway, next up. So it seems like your average everyday people are starting to get caught up in this whole gender ideology thing. And the person I feel bad for most in this next situation is the child. Roll it. People are getting confused. Was my partner male or female previously? My partner was my husband male to female we got pregnant as ryan was a male now she's transitioning to a female and no she's not my wife she is my spouse partner what the hell is going on Democrats. <laughs> so you see what happens now that child isn't going to have a father figure growing up in the home although technically it will still have a dad which it will probably call mom, so as you can imagine, there will be no confusion growing up in that household. Anyway, next up, so this clip is very interesting. I can't imagine what kind of woman is married to this guy, and his mother should have kicked him out of the house when he was 15. Roll it. My wife has this garden. You know, it's three garden boxes. It's this thing that she, like, really likes. I just, I told her, like, flat out, like, I will not help. Uh, I don't like yard work. I won't. I don't. I won't do yard work. She's very understanding of that and gives me that freedom. There's no expectation that I'll do anything. And so I, <laughs> I had a really, really big yard when I was a kid. A really big yard, and I was expected to mow it like every three days. And it was always a fight. By the time I was like 15, I was done. I remember I just told my mom like I'm not doing it anymore. I'm done. <laughs> Get a haircut, hippie. <laughs> I mean, seriously, who the hell does that guy think he is? The big Lebowski walking around in his bathrobe all day looking all disheveled? Like I said, his mother should have kicked him out when he was 15. Anyway, real quick, guys, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below, and I will see I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video, unless stated otherwise by you. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this clip of everybody's least favorite vice president, Chlamydia Harris. And I'm not being hyperbolic when I say that. Just check the polls and the approval ratings. She is literally everybody's least favorite vice president. She's equally disliked by everybody. Anyway, we've got a clip here. It's about a minute and a half long. It's kind of a tribute to her favorite saying, which I still don't know what the f she's talking about. I don't think she does either. Anyway, things are clearly getting crazy out there, guys. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace.
Roll it. Imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. You know? What can be unburdened by what has been. 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 What we can see, what we believe can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. Who we can be unburdened by who we have been. What can be unburdened by what has been. Where we can be unburdened by where we have been and unburdened by where we are right now. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What can be unburdened by what has been. What could be unburdened by what had been. What can be unburdened by what has 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 been. Unburdened by what has been. Believing in what can be. What can be. Unburdened by what has been. I don't know what the f*** you're talking about. And you ain't black.